I am Bruce with Blue Sky Video Productions. This presentation is going to be real quick. It's on growing your business using YouTube. I mean, everybody here, every business should have a YouTube channel. And notice I didn't say YouTube video because you can actually have a YouTube channel and curate content based on what other people have posted. Uh, one great example is this YouTube channel. It's the GLMV channel. How many people knew that GLMV had a YouTube channel? See, there are three people. You too can have your business <coughs> on the GLMV channel if you have a YouTube video on your own channel. It's called Playlists. And what you can do is curate content. Let's say you're, you do radio shows and you appear on a radio show and they post that radio show to YouTube. You can take that video from that other channel and add it to a playlist on your channel so people don't have to scour the internet to find the content about you. I've got one client who does like 10 interviews a year on different channels. Some of them get uh, thousands of views, some of them get uh, dozens of views. But all of those are in one place. So when you have a client who's looking to do some research on you, they are going to YouTube and say, okay, where, where can I find you? And they go to your channel, and there you ha have your content. So who else has YouTube channels? <laughs> Facebook has a YouTube channel. Vimeo has a YouTube channel. Vimeo is a, is a direct competitor with YouTube, and YouTube does not have a Vimeo channel, but Vimeo has a YouTube channel. Also, Twitter, and it's still Twitter on, on YouTube, has a YouTube channel. There are, there are companies out there that have YouTube channels that create content <laughs> and are posting it to YouTube. And why? Because there's a big ecosystem with YouTube. You can read these stats real quick. Which one jumps out to you first? And I'm second. Sending, sec, okay, second. YouTube is the second largest search engine behind Google itself. And there are billions of people searching every day, watching videos every day, looking at content every day. So YouTube is an ecosystem almost as large as Google itself. And so re reasons why you should have YouTube videos is for SEO purposes, SEO search engine optimization. When people search for a certain term, what comes up? What are the results? YouTube content will actually push your content on your website more than if your website does not have a video on it. And, it, and I've done a study where actually a website showed up higher even though that, that video was lousy. Just the fact that it was a video helped that, you, helped that website show up in search engine results. But it's also better to, because you're addressing person to person and not computers, is you want to have good content. So when people do get to your website and do start watching a video, you want to have that video mean something to them, something that will keep them on that website longer. Because again, Google will actually award you for the more time that people spend on your website. It's called bounce. If people come to your website, do a search, for plastering, and then they find the plaster company and they click on that link and they go to that, web, that website and they don't see anything they like, they bounce, they leave that channel within seconds. If with a video on that website, they will stick around, they will watch that video. If that video is 30 seconds, if that video is a minute, minute, video, a minute and a half, once they watch that first video, it's like finding a needle in a haystack. If you have one, 10 minute video that explains everything you do, that's one point of contact. But if you have 10 different videos that answer 10 different questions, they will find that first question answered and then they go to the next video, the next video, the next video. And so then, then it's like having all those needles tied together with a string because once they find that first video, then, then they can watch more and more videos from you. So. This is the usual concept of how people decide they want to have a video. It's like, okay, we need to do a video. And then they go to their, their 
partner and said, what kind of video should we do? And then so well, let's do a, uh, an entertaining video that shows our company. And they do that video. No research, no feedback from outside sources, nothing else, just something that I think I should do. P uh, Bruce told me I should do a video, so I'm going to do a video. And so which, this concept is more a ready, aim, fire concept, which I'm going to walk you through real quick, which is define your objective. That's your ready. Why do you want to do the video? Is it to engage new customers, educate current customers, support current customers? There's a number of different reasons. Define your objective first before you start doing anything be beyond that point. So that's ready. Now we're to the aim portion. So with aiming is identify your audience. Who is it? Are, what age are they? What's a, what are the de basic demographics of who you are? Create your avatar. An avatar is a single person that you are talking to. In this room, I've got multiple generations. I've got different uh, genders. I've got diff different uh, ethnics. So who is your core customer? Is it someone who is white, middle class, uh, Protestant, uh, living on the North Shore? Or is it someone who is struggling with a new business, somebody who, who's uh, 25, just got out of college, uh, not satisfied with their first job, looking for an additional content? So create that avatar and direct your message to that one person. Trying to address everybody in this room with a single message you're not going to reach everybody with the same message. Again, getting back to the idea of multiple videos to multiple people. Focus on trends. So trends can either be current or they can be long range. So with trending contents here is uh, news events, seasonal events. Asking your customers is a great source of content. And right now, Halloween's over, Veterans Day's coming up. What else, are there any other holidays coming up this year? I really can't think Thanksgiving. of. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is one, oh, I've heard of that. Christmas is, is another one. Hanukkah. Yeah. Hanukkah, Festivus. yeah, New Festivus. Year's. Festivus. 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 So again, and if you, have a, if you have an end of the year sale, this is the time that people say, okay, well, my numbers haven't been that great this year, Let's throw everything into uh, this last pitch to the end of the year. You can see a lot of commercials coming up this end, end of the year. So again, but you don't have to be seasonal. You can actually do what's called evergreen content. Zappos is a great company that does videos. They do multiple videos a day. They do videos on all their shoes and on their clothing and on their other products. They actually d discovered that a, a product that had a video with it increased their sales between three and 35%. So if you can increase your, your sales just 3% with one video, just imagine what you can do with multiple videos. And if you haven't been to Zappos and looking for a shoe, just kind of look how easy they do. They basically have a, a single person, it's generally a single take, where they come up, they, they show you the shoe, they show you the dynamics of the shoe, and then they explain how the, how the shoe is, is uh, constructed and what it looks like, and they're done. It's easy, one, two, three, basically one take. If you want to get into editing, that's a little bit more involved, but it also can take out your ums and your flubs, and if you decide you said something, didn't, you didn't say something quite right, you can reword it. You also can do multiple takes. I did one video that uh, explained a single process. It ran like 20 seconds. I did eight takes on it, so because I wanted to get it right on one in one take. So choosing your approach. So this is, we did uh, previously ready aim, and now choosing your approach is fire. What video should you be doing? Here's a list of different options. You don't have to do all of them. If you're a small company, pick one and do two or three or four of those. It's actually less expensive to do, if you're hiring a company like mine, to come out, we shoot five videos at one time and then we go back and edit those over time, so as opposed to coming out once a week to do a new video every week. So here, this is a short list. If you want, finalize this, 
We showed you the process that didn't work. This is the process that does work. You do your analysis, which is we need more tutorial content. What is the best format for that tutorial content? Video is the best format in this situation. You can reach me at BSVPTV across all my social platforms. That's including uh, YouTube, Instagram, X now, and Facebook. Hey, thank you.